Welcome back to Football Daily. We've not done this in a while. Q&A. Q&A's back, yeah. yes. It's my favourite of all the Qs and all the A's. Is it? Question one of some. All the attention has been on Vardy and Mares. Who else in the Leicester team has been key to their success? Apart from the... Uh, Joe, do you want to do this one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Danny Drinkwater has been absolutely brilliant for him. Uh, speaking to a few Leicester fans the other day, actually, and they genuinely think he should be in the England squad. Uh, think that he's better than Shelby at the moment, whisper it, because uh, he hasn't been on form, Shelby. Let's, let's not forget Swansea have been off form. Interesting point. Another, another player has been included, Fabian Delph, in mm. the England squad, mm. wrongly, because he's yeah, been out with injury, he's done nothing. Playing, yeah. uh, and you've got Danny Drinkwater, three assists this season, he's looked consistently good in midfield, so big calls for him to be in the England squad. What would he, where would he play? Were you saying he'd take the Shelby or he'd take Delph the, role? Yeah, he would take their position. Uh, he's probably not going to be a starter, mm -hmm. but uh, what an experience for a player like Danny Drinkwater. Left Man United, didn't have, didn't have the best times there, went Could to Leicester. Take Deli Alli or Dyer instead? You'd take Deli Alli, he's already in the squad, he'd go as well. Uh, really? Eric Dyer's in the squad as well, so you'd take both of them. And then you'd have uh, uh, Danny Drinkwater as well. I was saying, yeah, I was saying, I mean, quite, Vardy obviously is quite rightly being heralded because he's breaking yeah. his scoring records. Um, I think Leicester City, obviously, they're winning games, um, but defensively as well, they've got like of Wes Morgan, who has they got criticism and things like that. Who else at the back? Who else at the back? In oh. blue. Big, big foreigners. Hoof. So basically, so they, they did get criticism a bit, My like question is, a bit last season, didn't yeah. they? They're defenders. And so is Hoof actually know. good? Hoof? Uh, he's ageing, but yeah, he's, he's uh, as a leader. At yeah. the back, which I think so, maybe you need. Him. So I would and say, the goalkeeper, I would say of course, Schmeichel. Schmeichel. There you go. So there you get because Making I think last mistakes. season they did get a bit of stick, didn't they? They're being a bit, a bit immobile at the back. But um, credit to Ranieri as well. Man, yeah, absolutely. My favourite and also, and man doing an impression of Robin Williams doing an impression of an Italian. <laughs> Isn't that true? Watch him and you'll get that. Yeah, I know. I certainly. It's a very vivid image. I would also say that he's obviously yeah, he came really out of really. Chelsea. Being accused of being a tinker man, which is, I think, was a negative moniker. Yeah. But now he's uh, Leicester. I think uh, the team with the most wins that coming up from losing positions. Tinkering in the right way. So yeah, basically his tinkering yeah. is keeping Leicester in the uh, heavy heights of uh, keeping tinkering. Yeah. yeah. So I think that's uh, something that is probably not reported as much as it is, uh, yeah. Mr. Hector. Thank you very much, Hector. It's good to have you on the show. Um, of course, Football Daily UK at them if you've got your own questions and yeah. we'll answer them sometime soon. Do you think Chelsea will be relegated? <laughs> Oh, you're a joker. Um, or swag Daddy Overlord. Or is that really what it's called? Yeah, well, he's literally called himself called Swag Daddy, swag Overlord. Daddy okay. Overlord. Swag Daddy Overlord or <laughs> SDO, which uh, sounds like some sort of a terrible thing you can contract, uh, is uh, do you think Chelsea will be relegated this season or who do you think will turn their season around? Probably the squad and the So team. question one, do you think Chelsea will be relegated? No, no but I, no, I don't think they'll be relegated. However, no team's too big to go down, Patrick. Uh, no, that's true, but I don't think they'll get relegated. However, a lot of people are saying, oh, they'll sort it out and they'll finish fourth. I don't think that's true either. They won't even finish in the top six. I, I think they'll I, finish seventh. I think they'll finish, it'll be, I think they'll probably be eighth or ninth, maybe. Um, underneath that, I don't think it'll be, he, his stats aren't as good as David Moyes' uh, no. at, at start at Manchester United in his year, 2014. Um, I would say they will keep Mourinho and, um, like it's been mentioned on the show as well, use it as an opportunity to try and um, bring some young players through and also have a run in, run in one mm -hmm. of the cups, try and stay in the Champions League as long as, long as possible. Yeah. 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 Oh, they they I mean, definitely yeah. won't finish top four. I mean, yeah. like top four pace I read the other day is kind of 1.8 points per game and mm -hmm. they, even with 1.8 points per game, they're a long way off top four. Yes, they really are. So uh, I, I can't see them finishing top four, but also never going down the million years. Do you think if Mourinho wins Champions League this season, he'll just quit Chelsea? No, he's got too much money in the bank for it to quit Chelsea. Well, he'll quit Chelsea. If they don't win Chelsea? the Champions League? If they do win the Champions League. No, uh, he's got no I don't. No, I think on also, no. whilst we've at length discussed, um, he's maybe mentally not right to, to oversee a, a long 10 year dynasty. Mm. That does, that's not to say he doesn't want to. So that means I don't think he will quit after winning the Champions League if he's still in the job. Yeah, it won't be his choice if he's there. Yeah, that's enough, Mr. West. No more today. So, no, they won't get relegated, but I don't think they'll do is. They'll, they'll, they'll inevitably turn it around like the, 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 the sort of conception is. Say the name. Hmm? Say his name. Thank you, Swag Daddy Overlord. Good. Um, and that's what you'll call me from now on. Yeah. Um, <laughs> how did that person again steal my ideas? <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, next question. Who's going to win the CL? I believe oh, this is an absolutely league. cosmic um, question. Arguments for and against the... A quinquennial. Why would, want a quin why would it quin be a quinquennial? Yeah, no, a quinquennial no, every means every years, five years, I think. Or is yeah. it every 50 years? And as those will become world class. No, but I'm saying, would that be taken from the top four leagues within Europe? 
and then uh, that I they, don't know. They make I don't. It. It's madness. It's an absolute. <laughs> so are you saying that for every five years, yeah, there'll be a European Super League, and the rest can just forget the football. But what you're saying is every five years we break those up. Yeah. Yeah. I Anybody who's not in the top four category just not playing. Uh, yeah, I think so. Basically, once the arguments for or against uh, who's going to win a Q, well, arguments let's, against, let's, let's it's just not forget. realistic. Yeah. It's a very critical question. It's it's critical. Mm. Okay, uh, no, I don't think uh, they should do that. I'm against it massively. Really, you're against yeah, the breakaway of the Super League. Massively against it. Yeah. Why? What, what, it working right once every five years is just absolutely insane. So you're saying it should be permanent? So I basically, you have it should be one. Yeah. That's what, the Champions League is effectively a European Super League. If you want to find mm. out who's the best in Europe, look at the look. Yeah, at but Champions they don't League. play each other every week. No, they don't. But mm. the, God, imagine would, the players in that league. It? It'd be know, fantastic. Yeah. But Messi would be. So, but I, I'm still trying to get my head around this sort of bonkers idea that what like, that it's, a Super League. Yeah. So basically, Super so League. It's not you take, hard. You take the four. How many do you take from each league? And then what happens to the league? Well, it's based on that coefficient, you take it Patrick. Is it? It's not hard. It's fair yeah, play. Place. Yeah. Okay, so the, but am then, the but Amers will be taking well, on Schalke. What you then think is that really is the cutaway yeah. of the, the moneyed guys yeah, within yeah, there. Yeah, and you sort of football. worry that Abu yeah. Dhabi would own this. Yeah, and also I think, it's the, I think it's the same argument that, um, you know, that anyone who put forward the idea that you shouldn't, there shouldn't be relegation from the Premiership, it should be sort of uh, yeah, it's just, uh, cut off. It's like, it seems like what it would do be the detriment, do it'd be the, yeah, it'd be the detriment to all the other leagues that have had those teams taken well, what out. Well, what do Liverpool do? What, what do all the other teams who are just below the top four do? Yeah. What do Spurs do? Yeah. Do they go, oh madness. yeah, cool, go off? It's madness. Yes. I mean, yeah. it is Queen Quenny also got five years to get there. But, yeah. but I, I, I personally, I think it's a lovely idea, but you almost feel like you want to form new teams and put them into it, do you know? And then, yeah. in, because, you know, if Manchester United are going to go and do that, or PSG or Real Madrid or Barcelona are going to go and do that, I will say it's one of the most imaginative questions yeah. we've had on. To be fair, I, I don't imagine, think it's a good idea. Uh, has Ozil <laughs> finally become WC? <clears throat> world class. class. I'm not Wesley in Chapel. Right. Um, uh, has he become world he's class? Been absolutely fantastic this season. Uh, one class does not make a man. Has, has he reached the levels he was at at Madrid? Uh, maybe he's getting there again, because let's face it, he had a season dip. Uh, mm -hmm. But not quite at that top level. If you put him alongside Sanchez, both both at the moment. I know Sanchez didn't have a good game against Spurs, but I think Sanchez Ozil did. Ed edges it. Ozil did have a good game Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, San yeah. Sanchez was slightly off colour, but uh, I think I think he's still slightly b below the bracket of being top, top class. Yes, I would agree with that. Pretty I much. Think he Only is. on current form, though. No, I'd say I'd say fantastic player, but at I his mean... best, he's definitely world class. He has a mercurial moment in every game, pretty much, unless he's completely out of at it. At the moment, though, it's at the moment when he's on form. When yeah. he's on form, he's world class, but mm. if you put him in the bigger picture, I think he's slightly below that because of the last two Consistency years. Consistency is all part of that, isn't yeah, it? Exactly. Yeah. Um, and you have to have a consistent <coughs> mentality world class wide. Who's, who's going to win the Champions League, guys? Who's going to win the Champions League? I would say, um, I think it's good. hard to see. Barcelona will be definitely in the semi-finals again. I just think they've got the, with the firepower that I mean, they've, they've got. got. I don't think they've got the squad to win it, Barcelona. Uh, who do? Uh, who do? It'd be a Bayern Munich Real Madrid final. Bayern Munich. Yeah, yeah, and, and I think Real Madrid will win it. It's got to be Bayern Munich. I think Real Madrid will win it. Really? Yeah. Could well Rafa win it. Benitez, yeah. Three nil down. He knows, time he knows out. He knows out, doesn't he? Penalties. He knows out. He knows out. <laughs> Um, no, buy a minute for me. I mean, they're just—it's uh, they're incredible. I yeah. think it's all against Arsenal. Yeah, they're just—they're just a different level. Well, you heard all the difficult but... calls here first. I think the best team. All right, will it'll win be it. um, Sheffield Wednesday. Well, I, I was <laughs> hoping it'd be someone like Shakhtar, but obviously it's not going to be them. Okay. Um, anyway. No English clubs in there. You don't think Man City could travel? I mean, they so just spanked Sevilla away, and Madrid really. Not after they've lost their strikers. I think that's the problem with yeah, the City. No yeah. Aguero, no Pass. No could Aguero. Be he could hmm? be back. Could be back. Yeah, they could be out by then. <laughs> I, I well, think they're top of the group, aren't they? So who, who no, I, I don't think they'll be out by them, but I do. I just think they're a little bit light to, to challenge, maybe. But then that logic doesn't apply to Barcelona, does it? So, Droz, D Rose says, can someone else win La Liga in the next four years? Presumably, someone other than Real Madrid and Barcelona, right? Well, so you're looking at Atletico Madrid. Mm -hmm. Will Diego Simeone not be gone? That's the next thing. Year? Isn't, he plan is he, isn't he planning to get if the Argentina goes. job, the Chelsea job? If he no, goes. no, Diego. <laughs> if he if he goes, then they won't. Yeah, but because it'll be stays? a rebuild. If he stays, then you never know. But it's so depending on signings and whether the team gets ripped apart, isn't it? Who would go there? Though? Which manager would go? There could be a good manager that would go there and take David Moyes is free. But who would go there? Who would take over? Um, 
Is this, is this very uh, hypothetical, isn't it? Yeah, hypothetical situation where they take over and then they become La Liga contenders because they won it not very long ago. But some, the thing is, sometimes it feels a bit like it's the perfect combination of manager and yeah, team. So do, and I he agree. feels like the perfect combo there. So it's, they almost come out of left field in the same way Valencia did, essentially. Yeah. In the same way that uh, Villarreal kind of well, challenged Valencia for a little have, while. They have a bit of financial muscle. They do, well. but they're also struggling a little again. bit, aren't they, this season? But I think so that's potentially Valencia then. But I, don't, I don't think Valencia were looking to win it this season, but I think they expect to do slightly better than they are doing. But I do think that when they invest some more, we'll see them do better. Awesome. Yeah. I I mean... I still don't think anybody else will win it in the next four years. No, it'll, like be, it'll be those two, right? But, okay. but so can someone else then. win it? <laughs> Sorry, no. Droz. Sorry, yeah. Droz. You're playing it safe. Or, or Unless think. something exceptional happens or mm. Valencia really do splash a load of money, then there's no way. Okay. It's hard, isn't it? This right. football game. There's some good questions. Some uh, for, like pretty cosmic questions this, this week. Incredible. Yeah. yeah. Don't do that. Oh, we're done with them now, though. Oh, yeah, okay. Do yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thanks a lot for Thank so asking much. your questions on Twitter. Uh, at us. Football Daily UK, right? That's right, yeah. yeah. Give UK. us a follow. Lovely. Um, it's been good to have you guys. Also been good to have both of you. Uh, and it's been good to have your knowledge as well. Let us know in the comments below whether you agree with our answers to the questions. And, of course, if you've got any more questions, leave them there too. We'll see you again real soon. Football Daily.